Hey guys, welcome, welcome back, back to the channel. channel. So, so today I wanted to show you all an extension that I use every day as a software developer. So the extension is available on Visual Studio and you can see it right here. So if you go to extensions, uh, manage extensions, so I'll show you that. Extensions, manage extensions, and you search for uh, productivity power tools in the search bar. Um, Make sure also you're on the online tab, so you're searching everything. Uh, the first one is what we want to use here. Um, it's for 2017 and 2019, and it should be by Microsoft Dev Labs. So I'm going to show you pretty much the one feature that I use this for. Um, but before I do that, I actually want to show you what Visual Studio is like without the extension. And I want to show you kind of why I think this is a phenomenal extension that you should install day one when you get Visual Studio. So let's close out of this before we install it. Um, and I want to show you the functionality that Visual Studio comes with out of the box. So right here is just an MVC web application. Um, I have things divided by regions. Um, so what I want to show you is if we have something like a property here, and let's call it name, and we, we know we use the property in a lot of uh, methods. So if we have some methods that, you know, do something, maybe get assigned name or maybe um, I just have a local variable or maybe we even have a method that um, reassigns name to be a new string. Um, it's nice to know where name is being used. And I know that you can right click and you can go find all references or do a shift of 12 and it'll show you down here um, where it's being called. But it's not particularly helpful to look at it down here and then kind of piece that together up here. It's, it would be nice if we had some kind of visual indicator on the side um, that actually pertained to what we click. And if you see on the white boxes, you may think that that's what that is, um, but it's really not. So if we go and double click name, we don't we don't get any indication. We don't get we we can scroll through and see you know, where we may have a highlight um, and that, you know, that'll work too. So we can scroll through and we can see that name is highlighted, but we still have to scroll through the whole file. We can't actually see how many times um, it's being used because if we were going to add, let's say a new property and we'll call it um, maybe last name uh, and let's go down to the bottom to change name. And let's reassign or let's assign last name to my last name. Um, let's scroll back up to the top. If we double click this, we don't know that it's being called anywhere. We know that obviously it is because of one reference and we can click that and go there, but we can't see really quick where it's being used. And that's really what I'm trying to trying to fix, right? Because you don't want to find all references for every little variable that you do. That really bogs down Visual Studio and it just kind of becomes annoying. So you don't, and you don't want to have to scroll through the whole file. So that's really the problem that we want to solve is, is that exact scenario. And that occurs all the time when you're working in files. When you double click a variable, you want to see where it's called, uh, you know, quickly without having to do any of the shortcuts or references or anything like that. Um, so the solution to this is the extension that I showed. And before we get into the extension, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, uh, consider subscribing. It would really help me out and I would appreciate it a lot. So, so anyway, let's go back to the extension here. Um, oops, I lost it. Productivity Power Tools. Let's go ahead and download this and let's get it installed. And typically when you install extensions, you will have to restart your Visual Studio like it says in the bottom if I scroll it over. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and close out of Visual Studio and let's save that. And you're gonna see it, it's going to be installing um, right now. So modifications complete, we can go ahead and close that and let's go ahead and open Visual Studio. So you can just right click and select the project you were working on or the solution and it will open back up with our extension installed. So let's go ahead and open the project back up. So now everything is installed and what you might see if you 
I'll scroll, I'll zoom into it. If you see this little purple box, um, that's kind of interesting. So you might be wondering what that is. Well, that's exactly what we wanted, right? So if we double click name, we see all these purple boxes and we can see that that is where everywhere that that name is being used. So if we want to go up here, we can just double click and we can see every instance where it's used or last name, we can see that it's way at the bottom and we can just scroll right there. Arguably that's faster than if you were to go to reference and click because it's you just get in the habit of just double clicking and seeing where it is and you can just go right there. Um, and you can do this for anything. It's It just goes by text. So it pretty much just says, you know, whatever you highlight, um, is that does that exist somewhere else on the page? And that's all that really is. So it would do for anything we highlighted. So private, void, anything. It's It just goes by text. Um, but anyway, so as you can see, that, that's super helpful because if you're in a really big file with maybe a thousand lines in one class or whatever you're working in, and a thousand lines is a big class, but if you're in that kind of code uh, code base, you don't want to, variables, it's, it's hard to keep track of, but something like this, if you need to know if something is used um, just kind of quickly, you can just do that really fast and say, um, okay, yeah, it's, it's used, you know, on line 66 um, or something like that. But you'd be surprised how much you would use that and how much you would begin to rely on just that simple addition to Visual Studio. Um, and by the way, if you see here, I have everything divided into regions. Um, that's all, all a region is, is just kind of like grouping of code. So if you type in the pound key region, um, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, public, public methods, uh, we can define the region and then we type in end region. And then we can define anything in here um, that we want. So if we make a new method, we can encapsulate it in this region and we can minimize it. So that's just a really nice way to organize your code. And if you want to expand a region um, all at once, you can do control M L and it will expand all your regions uh, all at once. So that's a really nice shortcut too that I wanted to talk about. Um, but anyway, so if we pull up, um, if we actually pull this up on the computer here on the web browser, you can see everything else that comes with this extension. And it's a lot, but they're all pretty small changes. Honestly, I don't use, or at least I don't knowingly use most of these changes. Um, so you can go through and see if anything else um, you like and see if anything else you might use. I honestly, I just use it for that one piece. <laughs> um, I don't use, you know, I don't, I don't typically use the middle click scroll. Um, I don't really like the quick launch tasks or maybe, no, I tell you what, I don't like the double click to maximize. I do that all the time. Literally, I like double click on the solution explorer to move something over and I like get a full screen view of like my properties and, I, <laughs> and it's a pain in the neck to, uh, to like rearrange them because I feel like it always, it, it never arranges back the same way. So I, I, I might actually disable that now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, but anyway, so you can go and you can go and check those out if you like. Um, there's a lot to this extension, but again, I just use it for that one purpose. Um, but I think it's really helpful, and and honestly, I use it all the time. So anyway, that's what I wanted to talk about on the video, and I, somebody showed me this extension in one of my internships, and it was like super early on because he thought that it would be pretty helpful and it turns out it was and I've showed people this at, at where I work and I don't I don't know if they use it or not but <laughs> I, I showed it to them and I certainly use it all the time and this would be oh man this is I couldn't recommend this any more highly because just knowing how many times I rely on that purple box to see where something is being used. I do that all the time. And it, it just, I know it increases how fast I'm able to do something. Um, and one one actually specific use case of this is when you're editing a, uh, a JavaScript file, depending on how it's been implemented 
in terms of how the JavaScript is structured, whether or not you're using classes or anything like that, sometimes you can't actually um, get really, like you can't really get IntelliSense sometimes on JavaScript files. So you can't go to a definition of something that it, it, it's like, you can't get, go to re all references on some of the JavaScript variables. But with this, you can double click and you can read out the whole um, file pretty much and see where it's being used. So that's just one example. Again, it's kind of dependent on how you have things structured and things like that if you're using this for JavaScript. Um, but that's just one in particular, that's just one example in particular that I could think of. Um, but anyway, so that's really all I have. And I have some other extensions that I can show too that I use at work. This isn't my main development computer. This is just my personal desktop. Um, my main development computer is my work computer. So I'd have to go on there and see what other extensions that I use. Um, I think there are some. I could definitely make more of these videos about extensions. I could make this into a series if you wanted to. Um, I know the I, like I know the tools that I use on a daily basis, and this is one of them. And I know there's a lot more that I can show you all to maybe help you out if you're newer to software development, or or maybe if you just have never heard about these extensions, which is entirely possible. Um, Anyway, I hope this adds value to you. I hope it helps you out. If you have any extensions that you use on a daily basis, uh, let me know in the comments. Or if you have anything you want me to take a look at, uh, you know, let me know in the comments as well, and I will get back to all the comments. And anyway, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for taking the time to check out my channel and my videos. And anyway, guys, have a good day.